Today you will create this awesome, beautiful drag and drop feature by using HTML and JavaScript. So let's dive in. Hi everyone, this is Jitsara with Coding Design. I have already prepared my three files, HTML, CSS and JS file. Inside the HTML file, I am setting its title to HTML drag and drop. Inside the body tag, I am creating two more divs with class name boundary. Again, I want to make two more divs with class name field. For the first div, I am giving its class name as image. And for the second div, I am giving its class name as box. And inside that, I am writing drag me. Now let's see it in the browser. Now you can see only drag me. Okay, now let's link the CSS file. Okay, now we are in the CSS file. To remove browser's default margin and padding, I'm setting margin and padding to 0, box sizing to border box, and font family to sans serif. Now let's style the body. For the body, I am setting its height to 100 vh, display flex, and justify content center, align items, why I can't type this, align items to center, and also for the background, I am giving dark grey color. Now let's see in the browser, okay. Now let's style the class boundary. For the boundary, I'm setting its height to 400 pixel. For the width, 250 pixel. I'm giving more lighter background than before. For the border radius, I'm giving 9 pixel. Now let's see in the browser. Okay, there is no gap between the boxes. Show I'm giving margin x0 y2 20 pixel. Now you can see the gap between the boxes. Now let's style the image class. For the image class, I'm setting its height to 220 pixel or the width to 100%. And I'm giving background image. I'm giving view logo but now you can't see the image properly so i'm giving background size to for x 100 percent and for y 100 percent and also i'm giving margin x to 30 pixel and y to zero When you drag, you can see you can't drag that image. So to make it draggable, we have to write in the HTML, draggable is equal to true. So for both, I'm using draggable is equal to true. Now you can see, you can drag. Now let's style the box class. I'm setting its padding to 20 pixel, width to 220 pixel. For the background color, I'm giving medium C green. And for the color, I'm setting its setting to white, text align to center, and margin X to 20 pixel, and for the Y auto. Okay, now I'll give border radius to 8 pixel. Okay, now it's looking better and you can drag. Okay, I'm adding extra class name, add effects. So this is, you'll know later why I'm giving this class. So for the add effect class, I'm setting its border to 3 pixel, solid and white. For the background, I'm giving a little bit lighter gray.
Now let's link the JavaScript file. So in the JS file, I'm creating constant variable fields and I'm assigning it document.querySelector all and I'm giving class name dot field. I'm using why query selector all it's because there are two class named field so I'm using query selector all similarly I'm creating const drop zones variable and assigning it document dot query selector all and giving class boundary so same thing there are two class named boundary so I'm using query selector all Initially, I'm creating variable called field items where I'm setting its value to null. Now there are two class named fields, so we have to iterate that. I'm writing fields dot for each function and iterating. And let's do same thing for the drop zones variable. Let's go inside the fields iteration. I'm writing field dot add event listener, and I'm listening to the drag start event, and I'm giving callback function. In the callback function, I'm writing console dot log drag start. Now let's see it in the browser. So when you drag, you can see in the console, drag start has been triggered. We are assigning field item with field variable. This field variable is the variable that we have got from this iteration. Now, but you can see when you drag the image, you can see these still images in the box. So I am setting this dot style dot opacity is equal to zero. So now let's see it in the browser. When you drag, everything is gone. But I don't want this. So for that, I'm using set timeout function to prevent that. And it will take callback function. So I'm giving a time to zero second. Okay, there is error. Oh, it is because I have used this keyword but I didn't use error function so this is what you want when you drag I want the image back to the initial position so for that I'm writing fill start add event listener drag end so I am writing callback function inside callback function I want to style the field item and I'm setting its opacity to 1 now you can see the result that we want now let's go to the next part for the boundary part or the drop zone part I want to add the new event called drop so I'm writing drop zone dot add event listener remember we have iterated the drop zones okay with callback function now let's console.log dropped okay now you can see when you drop the drop event has not been triggered so why is that because to able to drop we have to add another event listener called drag over inside callback function you'll give the event parameter and set the event dot prevent default so this will prevent the default behavior and now you can see when you dropped drop event has been triggered now inside the 
drop event callback function i'm writing this dot append append what field item okay because when you drag a start event was triggered you have given field item with field value so that field value will be appended to the second class name boundary so let's write field item now you can see when you drag and drop the item has been drag and drop but i want to add the extra new events for the better effect so i want to add new event called drag enter And with the callback function, I'm setting event as argument and I'm giving e dot prevent default or to prevent the default behavior. Now again I'm adding new event and the new event called drag leave. So this prevent default is not necessary. Now I want to show you that when you drag to the next boundary I want to inform that you are in the next boundary when you drag I want to show you put around that box so for that I'm writing this dot class name is equal to this dot class name plus this class name add effects okay now this class will be applied when you drag still it's not oh because I have earlier dot you have you should remove that now you can see this expression can be written in simple form like this but you will see that effect in both box now to prevent that I am going inside the drag leave callback function and inside I'm writing this dot class name is equal to the previous or the initial class name that is boundary that we have set in the HTML now same thing is applied in the drop event now let's see it in the browser But let me remind you, if you don't want this extra features or this extra effect, you don't need this to event. That is, drag enter and drag leave event. So that's it. If you have enjoyed this video, smash that like button. If you have any kind of question, let me know in the comment box. Share this video if you think someone needs it. And also, if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Remember, there is always more to learn. So, keep learning.